Fields. Today we're going over the story, The Land Volcanoes Built. So if you'll go with me back to your packet, we'll look at the lesson plan for the day. First thing you are to do is read The Land Volcanoes Built on pages 288 and 290. Compare and contrast how the author of Dog of the Sea Waves and the author of The Land Volcanoes Built describes a volcano. Complete the main idea activity and answer the comprehension questions. And of course, you're going to read independently for 30 minutes and complete your reading log. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly um, look at these questions before I go back and look at the story. It says, how did the author of Dog of the Sea Waves describe a volcano? How did the author of the land volcanoes built describe a volcano. So boys and girls, I'm just going to keep that in mind um, as I read this next story. Okay. So of course, um, the previous story, Dog of the Sea Waves, did have something to do with volcanoes. The setting was the Hawaiian Islands and the volcanoes are actually mentioned towards the end of the story. The story is realistic fiction. So it didn't happen, but it could happen in real life. And this, on the other hand, the land volcanoes built is informational text or nonfiction. So all of the information in this uh, article or informational text is real and true facts. And if you noticed over here, boys and girls, as you were reading, or if you have not read yet, it's here in the text on page 288. It reminds you that it's informational text, which gives factual information about a topic. This is actually a magazine article. OK, part of this text includes a diagram. A diagram is a drawing that shows how something works. It says to examine the diagram on page 289, then explain to a partner the steps that led or that lead to a volcanic eruption. Okay, the land volcano is built. I am going to read, um, since it's kind of short, I am going to read some of this. The islands of Hawaii spread over many miles of ocean. Eight large islands and 124 small ones are in the chain. Each island is really the top of a mountain that pokes out of the sea. How were these islands formed? The answer is volcanoes. And I'm sure, guys, that you remember us talking about this in class whenever we were learning about land features, whenever we were actually learning about volcanoes and how a lot of mountains we think are just mountains, but really they are volcanoes. Some of them active, some of them not active. We also talked about volcanoes whenever we were learning about different types of rocks. We know that igneous rocks were formed from, uh, some of them were actually formed from volcanic eruptions. Okay. All right, what is a volcano? A volcano is an opening or vent that goes deep into Earth. Deep within Earth, it is so hot that rock melts. The melted rock is called magma. Sometimes magma is pushed up and pours out of the volcano. Then the magma is called lava. The lava cools and hardens. It builds up. Over time, it can form a tall mountain. Each of the Hawaiian islands formed in this way. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I'm already sitting there thinking about how, gosh, that was a lot of land. The Hawaiian Islands cover a lot of land, and they were all formed from volcanoes uh, that basically go very deep within the earth. So this explains how the Hawaiian Islands came to be. Boys and girls, this Diagram here is wonderful for helping us to understand the parts of a volcano. We can see here, um, or starting at the bottom, the rock uh, actually melts into to magma. 
pressure builds up, the heat and the pressure build up, which causes the magma to push upward and to go upward. As it pushes towards the Earth's surface through cracks, it, uh, the hot lava, gases and rock flow from the volcano. And then once it actually comes out of the volcano, the lava cools, hardens and becomes part of the land. And of course, you can see that over time, as more and more, uh, or as these volcanoes erupt more and more, when that lava comes out and cools, it's going to cool over the other hardened lava so that uh, it actually makes the mountain grow bigger or look bigger as time goes on. Okay, on the next page, it says life arrives. At first, the islands were bare. Waves rippled on empty shores. Life came much later. Wind and water carried plant seeds. Sea animals such as monk seal swam there. Other animals made the voyage aboard objects floating in the sea. The arrival of birds brought song. The first people paddled in canoes from other islands. The stars guided them across the Pacific Ocean. The travelers spotted the islands. They dropped anchor in a calm bay and came ashore. The new islands were good places to live. There was plenty of fresh water to drink and lots of food. The leaves of the coconut tree could be used to build thatched shelters. Coconut husks could be twisted into strong ropes. These people became the first Hawaiians. So boys and girls in this section, and of course I can use my subheading, Life Arrives, to figure out and reflect and think, hmm, what's the main idea of this part? And this part really helps me understand how people came to the island. Um, and what the island has uh, had and still has to offer the people that live there. Lots of natural resources. Okay, I'm going to go back now. To, I'm going to leave it on that page and let's go back to the packet. Okay, so now let's go back to those questions. How did the author of Dog of the Sea Waves describe a volcano? And then how did the author of The Land Volcanoes Bill describe a volcano? And boys and girls, you need to make sure that you have your books open and you're using information from the text to help you with your answers. That's exactly where I got my answers from. I could not remember all of this. I had to look back in the text. Okay, so in Dog of the Sea Waves, it says that the earth heaved up, there were deep cracks appeared, then flames, a river of fire, burning lava, the, burning lava. These were all words and phrases, guys, that were that the author uses to help describe the volcano. Now, Dog of the Sea Waves is a fictional story. So it's not being told the same way informational text is being told. The story has a setting, it has a plot, it has a conflict and a resolution. So we're not given all the details of a volcano like we are in the land volcanoes built. I decided I needed a, uh, to start off with a nice complete sentence. So I started off with when the author describes the volcano on pages 281 through 282. We, we have been doing a lot more of this in class where we were actually using words like according to the text or the author states whenever we were writing our answers. He uses words and phrases such as the earth heaved up. So it's like everything from the earth came up. Deep cracks appeared then flames, a river of fire, and burning lava. We can use all these descriptions to visualize the magma and the lava that came out of the volcano and how hot it was. So these are the words that the author uses in Dog of the Sea Waves to help describe the volcano. But on the other hand, in the land volcanoes built, there's many more facts given about a volcano. The author actually explains all the parts of a volcano, 
um, what the magma is, that the magma is the hot melted rock that's in the volcano. And then of course, once it comes out, it's actually called lava. So it's the same thing, it's just the name changes. Okay, so I wrote a volcano is an opening or vent that goes deep into earth. Deep within earth, it is so hot that rock melts. The melted rock is called magma. When the magma is pushed up and pours out of the volcano, it is called lava. Now, boys and girls, I also could have put in here, it mentions in the diagram on page 289, that magma pushes toward earth's surface through cracks. Let me pull that up real quick so you can see it. So in, this is um, one part that is very similar to Dog of the Sea Waves, where they mention um, in the text that deep cracks appeared. So that would be something that you could put down here in the part that asks in the question, as a response to the question that says, what was the same about each. I did not include that. I just wanted to mention that to you. But, um, but boys and girls, you don't have to write or type up exactly what I have, but it should be similar or at least have some of these same important parts in there. So we can definitely tell that the description in the land volcano is built since this is nonfiction is more factual more of uh, an exact description of what happens when a volcano erupts versus in Dog of the Sea Waves, we're just given lots of um, descriptions telling us what it, what it looked like. Um, you can tell, of course, what it felt like, um, the burning lava, a river of fire. You can tell that it's something, um, that the lava was really hot and of course it's something that you wouldn't, it would be too hot to touch. So it appeals to our sense of touch there. Okay, and then lastly, it says what was the same about each and what was different? And basically we've discussed that um, today. So what was the same? They both give a description of, or mention the hot lava um, and the deep cracks. But what's different is the author is telling us about the volcano and Dog of the Sea Waves in a story format. Uh, you know, a river of fire, using that metaphor, burning lava, just more words that appeal to our five senses like you uh, authors do in stories. But here in the land volcanoes built, we're given more facts, exact facts and step by step um, as to how a volcano works. There's also a diagram that tells us all the parts of a volcano. And of course, we don't learn that in Dog of the Sea Waves, which is a story. So I think I gave you enough hints there to help you out when you're writing your answer. Okay, let's look at number two. The table below separates the paragraphs in the article, The Land Volcanoes Built. Using the table, write the main idea or gist of each paragraph in one sentence. Just use a one sentence, okay? An example was done for you. Helpful tip, it helps to talk it out or talk out loud about the ideas in each paragraph and then combine your ideas into one sentence. 